It's now time for Mark Hankins. Mark and Trina train and equip leaders in every nation through church services, leadership conferences, mission trips, and media. Get ready for a direct and joyful message about how to grow in your faith and learn more about who you are in Christ. Now, let's join Mark and Trina. Faith requires accurate knowledge. In other words, it's not enough just to look at something. Here's, here's something Dad Hagen said, and I, I think you can, this will really help because uh, you already have information and knowledge on the blood, but to have accurate knowledge of that and bring that into application. So faith requires revelation and application. Faith always requires a voice. You're going to have to say something about it. Your confession of faith. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my mama would plead the blood, but here's something Dad Hagen said. He said he asked the Lord one time why some people don't get increase in church, church people. In other words, they're not getting results. Why aren't they getting increase? Why aren't they receiving from God? He said the Lord gave him 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6. 1 Corinthians 3, 6 says this. Paul said, I planted, Apollos watered, and God gave the increase. All right, let's go over it one more time. Come on, I planted, Apollos watered, and God gave the increase. Y'all still with me here? In other words, Paul preached the word of faith, uh, uh, the gospel. Apollos was trained by Paul, so they preached the same gospel, same word of faith. So Paul says, here's where the increase came from. He said, the first time you heard that revelation, that's the planting. But you can't get increased no matter how good the seed is and no matter how good the ground is unless it's watered. So he said, I planted. He said, Paulus came along, taught the same thing. That's the watering process. So he said, why don't some people get increased? He said, most Christians reject the watering process because they've already heard that message, so they think they already know it, so they just kind of turn you off. So they have what's called mental ascent. They don't have revelation knowledge. They don't have faith, so they don't get any increase. He said the key to increase is the repetition of revelation. Come on, the watering of that seed until it gets saturated day after day after day, and then God says, I'm giving you some increase, which means you're going to get some results that you cannot get from just the planting on Sunday. We want to know what the watering is on Monday and the watering is on Tuesday and the watering is on Wednesday and the watering is on Thursday because if you're watering, come on, that thing's going to spring up and change your life. That includes almost any part of Revelation. Revelation about redemption, revelation about health and healing, repetition, watering until it saturate you what's happening then God says now you're going to see the change increase praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord in other words you kind of have to get just as excited the tenth time you heard all right come on or you just kind of start acting like you already know that yeah I know that I know that Come on, you you got to get just as happy Amen. the 20th and the 50th time you hear Mark 11, 23 as you did the first time you heard it. Amen. You can't just turn it off and say, I don't know that. I already know what that preacher is talking about now. I already know that. I've been knowing that a long time. <laughs> can't he tell by looking at me? All right, so now we were in a, we were in a, um, Bookstore in the airport, probably, what, 20 years ago. We don't even go to airport, Charlie, anymore. So uh, I was in the airport with Trina, and we went to the bookstore, fixed the fly somewhere, 20, 25 years ago, maybe. And uh, Trina comes up to me, 
and says, I think we should buy this book. I said, what book? Show me that book. And on the cover it said, uh, The Power of the Blood of Christ by Andrew Murray. Now, here, here's what I did, because I, I was raised in church, daddy's preacher. I go, I certainly don't need that book. <laughs> you think I don't know? Uh -huh, see, smart aleck. You think I don't know about the blood of Jesus? Do you know who you're talking to? My dad is a pastor. Come on. You think I don't know? You want me to buy that book? I'm not buying a book about the blood. I know about the blood. Whoa. What an arrogance, huh? Right? Now, I know some of y'all didn't say that, but you thought it. I, even though the books are free. Some of you ignorant people won't even go get something free so you can water the word. All right, let's forget that. Now, so, just between us. So, because you think you already know that. But that's not the issue whether you already know it or not. The issue is if you're going to water that seed, come on and get fresh revelation. Come on, and then there will be what? Increase. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. So, let me close. Everybody say, faith in the blood. I believe in the blood. I boldly confess the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin and all unrighteousness. The blood of Jesus is my divine covering and my protection against every attack of the enemy. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now there's a lot more to application about the blood. But my mama would do what we call slinging blood everywhere. So there was, there was no shortage of applications. <laughs> I mean, if she just had a symptom, you know, you start feeling, start feeling like, oh, 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 is that you, COVID? Now, you said, have a symptom. They've been talking about you on TV, right? And he showed them my house. No, but any kind of a symptom will show up. My mom would say, I plead the blood of Jesus again. You know, we try to explain to my mama, you know, well, this is this, is this and this is that. And she said, it's the devil is what it is. So she'd say, <laughs> In other words, she got on it, the first sound, the first sniffle, the first cough. I plead the blood of Jesus. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Get out of my body in the name of Jesus. The blood has redeemed my life. By his stripes I am healed. Devil, you can't have it. My body belongs to God. Come on, even a thought might show up. Boy, she's like uninhibited, you know what I mean? Plead the blood of Jesus. So my mama, you know, when I was growing up, my mama came out of deep depression when I was just a little kid. So my dad had to tell me about it later. For two years, she lived in deep, dark depression, stayed in the back room and wouldn't even come out to eat. So she got real skinny and just wondering, you know, if she's going to live. And she's a pastor's wife. Let's try that again. Deep depression. And you're the pastor's wife, right? So she's, she's struggling with that. My dad's trying to run the church. He had a heart attack, right? And then I was playing outside with my older brother and got my thumb cut off in a bicycle chain. It's still gone. All that means I can only hitchhike that away. If I'm a hitchhiker, I've got to go that way. Sometimes you shake hands with people, you miss, and your arm goes up to the armpit. All the way up there, your hand's up there, and oh, excuse me. So, little kids, I say, what happened to your thumb? I said, I was picking my nose, a booger bit it off. So I got all kinds of things. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So my mom is in depression. My dad has a heart attack. The church, they're all broke. Come on, I was cutting my thumb off. I come and look, mom, no thumb. So everything, you know, they're having some terrible times. And my mama got a hold of that book on the authority of the believer. And instead of just believing stuff, she started saying stuff. 
All right, let's try that again. Come on, instead of just believing that, because she's a pastor's wife, she started saying that. And she got a hold of the blood of Jesus, and she started saying that. She started declaring what the blood has done in heaven, what it does in her heart, what it does over the devil. She put it on the doorpost of the house. She came out of the back bedroom. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm redeemed by the blood. No matter what feeling shows up, come on, no, no matter what mood shows up, when that thing shows up, you're like, oh, I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Then you can hear praying in the Holy Ghost every morning. Yeah. Woo, come on, there is a cure. Yeah. I said there is a cure. Yeah. You don't have to live that way. You don't have to live depressed. You don't have to live ashamed. There's victory in Jesus. There's victory in the blood. Come on. The answer's in your mouth. So my dad's ch church grew in that little town, 3,000 people in town. My dad's church grew to over 2,000. One man came in with a cowboy boot snap shirt, gave my dad $1.2 million. Little town. Gave him another million the next year. Ha, ha, ha. How many believe God can bless you no matter where you are? <laughs> he can find somebody with cowboy boots to find you. Listen. <laughs> and so they'd be praising the Lord in my dad's church, man. The goodness, the presence of God filled the church, the glory of God filled the church. And I could always hear my mama praising. She'd go, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Come on. There ain't no such thing as silent faith. Come on, if your faith ain't strong enough to move your mouth, it'll never move a mountain. You're going to have to get your mouth moving. Come on, your voice, your words, lift your voice. That's an application of the blood. So she praised the Lord like that. And then sometimes, boy, I'm telling you, I, I remember the lady that used to give messages in tongues in my dad's church. We kind of got that from my mom and dad. And so she'd give a message. Her name is Sister Evans. She's about 80-something years old. She'd give a message in tongues. When she'd give a message in tongues, she had false teeth, so her teeth would kind of click, clack together while she's speaking in tongues. She'd go, huh, huh. You could hear her teeth like, kind of clicking like that. So if you didn't know the interpretation, you could, uh, if you knew Morse code, you could figure out what the Holy Ghost was saying. Because she could clack, 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 clack. Come on, then the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Come on, he'll bring to your remembrance what Jesus has done for you. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Boy, and then the Holy Ghost says something. I hear my mama go, hallelujah. And then she run around the church. Not every Sunday, but you just couldn't tell when it's going to happen. You kind of like try to not bring your sophisticated friends. But you could, never could time it. So I brought a friend from high school one time. I don't know how he got there. He showed up at church. And I said, oh, Lord. So I tried to explain to him. I said, this ain't no church like a regular church. You know, people start talking in tongues. He asked me, he said, is that Latin? I said, no, we're not Catholic here. It's just, this is in the Bible. <laughs> Middle of that, my mama goes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! She took off running around the church. My friend said, now, who is that woman? I said, I have no idea who this woman is. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Run around the church. Then my daddy would try to get up and explain it to the visitors. You know, if you don't have to explain stuff to visitors, you don't have no Holy Ghost in your church. Yeah, my daddy would get up and say, Now, nah, some of y'all think this is not necessary. And it's not necessary unless it's necessary. So they're like, huh. I don't think it's necessary, but maybe it's necessary. I don't know if it's necessary. <laughs> but if Jesus said you're going to have to say it, saying it must be necessary. He said, I don't feel like saying it. Then stay broke. Come on, if you want to change the situation, open your mouth and start declaring, I'm redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Start praising God no matter how you feel. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Come on, our faith in God, our faith in the blood. Woo! Hallelujah. 
And so if it's necessary for you to shout while the walls are still standing, if it's necessary for you to count it all joy, come on, when you're facing a trial, necessary for you to lift your voice and praise God, come on, your faith brings the blood into application when you begin to act on the Word. Speaking is the initial act of faith. In other words, if your, your faith can just reach the point of saying it, whoo, there's some power coming out of your mouth when you start saying what the blood of Jesus has done for you, who you are, what you have. Just keep on saying it. I said just keep on saying it. Come on, you're watering that word. You keep on saying it. And God said, I'll give you increase. Ha, ha, ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Go ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Come on, it's mine. I have it now. I'm redeemed by the blood. I'm washed in the blood. I overcome by the blood. I'm blessed because of the blood. I'm not going to be silent about it. I'm going to talk about it on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Somebody said, what are you doing? I'm watering the Word. I'm expecting some increase from God. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Ha, ha. Hallelujah. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Well, that, that's chapter one right there. Praise the Lord. Maybe you come back after lunch, I'll give you chapter two. Praise the Lord. See how bad you want it. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is my Lord. Come on, I'm washed in the blood. I overcome by the blood. Come on, my spirit, my soul, my mind, my body, my family, my finances, my future. Everything is under the blood. Woo! Come on, you'll be the happy person in the car next to the other people at the red light. Come on, you didn't have to smoke it. Didn't have to drink it. Come on. Much more powerful than any drug is the power of the blood. You'll go from information to revelation as you meditate on, meditating on and declaring what the blood of Jesus has done for you. Let's lift our hands up. Father God, we thank you for the precious blood. His blood alone has done everything. Our faith and our confidence. Thank you for the repetition of revelation, the watering of that word. For increase, we'll get better results than we've ever gotten before. God gives increase. Thank you for a breakthrough. Increase. Increase. New scenery. New blessing. Increase in revelation. Increase in blessing. Thank you, Lord for your word working mightily in us through the blood of the everlasting covenant, through the great love of Christ and the love of God. Thank you, God, for your great love, your loving kindness, and your tender mercy. Where would we be if it were not for your great love? Your mercy. Lord, we meet you here at the mercy seat where the blood is applied, applied with our faith, in our voice, we thank you, Father God. We come boldly to the throne of grace. We receive your mercy. We find grace to help us right on time. Oh, every day, a meeting with God, receiving from your presence, receiving your word, receiving mercy, receiving your grace. 
Thank you, Father. We cry, Abba, Father. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus washes over us, cleanses us, reaches on the inside of us, heals us where we have been wounded or broken by life removes the memory of tragedies and things of the past that have haunted us. Oh, the blood of Jesus sets us free. Perfect sacrifice. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We live in the consciousness of the blood of Jesus. We live in the vision of the blood of Jesus that we have boldness. Lord, you see us through that blood. Approved, forgiven, righteous, in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Everybody say this. The blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin. There's not one thing in me. The blood does not cleanse. Every part of me, I'm washed in the blood. I'm blessed because of the blood. I overcome because of the blood. My faith, my confidence, is in the precious blood of Jesus. We want to thank all the Mark and Trina Hankins Ministries partners Amen. who have made this ministry possible. Praise the and Lord. the word is working mightily here. five decades, our desire has been to teach foundational biblical truths to believers around the world. Now, like never before, we see an acceleration of that assignment and are determined to take the message of faith to as many nations possible, seeing lives, churches, and nations transformed by the Word of God. We've been to over 50 countries and have ministered the Word and the Holy Spirit in conferences, churches, and Bible schools. Some of these places we go to again and again, and the seed of the Word is still growing today. Our assignment is to distribute the word on every avenue possible, broadcasting on TV, websites, social media, the app, and through publishing our books and CDs. We know if we do our part, God will do his part and make sure the word lands at the right place at the right time. In the last days, the printed page will be the most effective distribution of the gospel. The stories of people receiving our books in remote places around the world fuels our vision to do what the Lord has called us to do. People are receiving our books deep in the heart of Africa, Vietnam, Papua New Guinea, the Philippines, Iran, and Pakistan, and so many other places. Our books are currently translated in many languages and distributed in even more countries. Our vision is to have our books translated into a hundred different languages. Getting the written word in the hands of pastors and believers around the world is paramount to igniting the faith of generations to come. The books can go much further than we can, Partners, we ask you to continue to stand and believe with us that the Lord will continue to open the doors to new countries for our books to be distributed. Not only have we seen the faithfulness of God in the distribution of the books, but the television and media ministry has also accelerated as we recently launched out into daily television. We are now on the Victory Channel, VTN, and the Word Network, and are reaching a potential of 150 million homes worldwide. The Lord is making a way for the Word to be distributed through every available voice. We're also streaming our In Christ International Bible College around the world via Facebook and YouTube. This allows anyone in any country to catch the spirit of faith and study the Word at their convenience. With the advances of modern technology, the supernatural acceleration, and the new open doors, we are reaching more people today than ever before. And that's because of you. It's because of our partners that we're able to accomplish the assignment God has for us. When everyone pulls together, we will see amazing things happen for the kingdom of God. We thank you for your continued partnership. We could not do what we're doing without our partners. Together we can, together we will. Thank you, World Missions Partners. You're watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. There's no doubt we're living in uncertain times. People are struggling with anxiety and have a lot of questions about what's going on in the world and how that will impact their future. Do you want to live an overcoming, victorious, and faith-filled life? In this new two-CD set, How to Have a Meeting with God, 
In this set, you'll understand how as believers, we have boldness and confidence to draw near to God. In His presence, we get answers, direction, help, strength. In fact, everything we need is in the presence of God. Along with this new CD set, you'll get the book, The Bloodline of a Champion. Mark Hankins explains the power of the blood of Jesus. This book has a brand new chapter about his grandson Dylan and how he overcame leukemia and a bone marrow transplant. Faith in the blood of Jesus can help us live in the reality of our redemption, which gives real solutions to real people for real problems. By faith, we are part of a new bloodline, the bloodline of a champion. Your gift of any amount will help Pastor Mark and Trina Hankins train believers around the world. Call 318-767-2001 or visit markhankins.org. Thank you so much for joining us for the program today while my parents have been talking about the bloodline of a champion. And we will send you the bloodline of a champion book for your gift of any amount. This book, if you've never read this book, this book is amazing and it's easy to read. It's power, powerful, powerful message, but it's also very easy to read. And it's exciting because you're finding out everything that you have because of the blood of Jesus. We wanna make sure this book gets to you. So for your gift of any amount, we will send you this book. Because of your partnership with Mark Hankins Ministries, my parents are able to continue going and preaching and teaching all over the world. It is their honor, it is their dream, it is their, their life's goal to continue to preach and teach all over the world. So because of your partnership, you help to send them from place to place to place, and it is such a blessing to them and to this ministry. Also, because of your generous, generous donations, my parents have been able to translate the books into many, many languages. It's actually their vision and their heart to translate the books into 100 translations, 100 languages. So that will make a huge impact all over the world. And because of you, we are able to do that a little bit at a time, and we're so thankful to you. Thank you so much for believing and partnering with this ministry and with this vision and with this goal. We're so very thankful. Thank you so much. I'm Alicia Hankins Moran. Have a great day. The Mark Hankins Ministries app makes it easy for you to watch the latest TV broadcast. Listen to unlimited full sermons by Mark and Trina. Read our daily devotional, and stay connected with upcoming events. Download the app today on any smart device. Simply search Mark Hankins Ministries. Start feeding your faith at any time and anywhere. Thank you for watching Mark Hankins Ministries, Faith for Every Nation. For more information on how to build your faith, visit markhankins.org. You can access many free word resources to help you find who you are in Christ. Stay connected with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.